So, welcome to the series Study in Slovakia. This is a series which is about watching grass grow. So hey, let's watch the grass grow for a few minutes. No, this is not a series about watching grass grow. Believe it or not, it's about watch, <laughs> believe it or not, it's about studying in Slovakia. So, my name is Peter, and uh, if you are interested in studying Slovakia, please check out the website, studyinslovakia.sk, where you can get help uh, if you're trying to transfer with credits. Anything school related, you please check out the website, studyinslovakia.sk. You ready to start the show? Yep. Let's do it! Welcome back to Study in Slovakia. So, let us get started. So. Why don't you tell everybody, who are you? Hi everybody, my name is Ritik and I'm an international student in Kosice, Slovakia. Uh, basically I'm studying bachelors in mechanical engineering. I am also uh, very active in ESN Erasmus Student Network events or uh, meetings and stuff. Recently, I've been elected as the Causes Ambassador for ES in Slovakia. Uh, I DJ sometimes, but mainly for Erasmus parties. Hmm. And maybe one or two local parties here. And then I travel a lot. I, I travel during my weekends. I, I like to exp uh, explore the culture and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's not in cities that you find these cultures, but uh, when you travel around, you get the clear touch of it. All right, so let's dive into that. Let's start off with traveling then. So, yeah. So I know you've been all over Slovakia. Yeah. Uh, so traveling around this country, uh, what have you discovered uh, traveling the cities and villages? I mean, uh, so I'll be very honest here. Like, it it looks very similar, and it looks like it's the same everywhere. But once you start traveling. Uh, like, you know, you'll actually uh, figure out the differences. People are very different everywhere. Um, and you can actually uh, see the difference when you, once you start traveling. Because uh, before, like, when I used to just travel around, uh, like, outside the country, that's when I didn't notice all the stuff. But now I, I know there's so much difference and so much diversity here that it's not being exactly highlighted. Well, okay, so here's your chance to highlight it. So, uh, so like, you can give me an example, like Kosice is in East Slovakia. Like, what would be the difference between, let's say, East Slovakia and a place in West Slovakia? For example, I was in uh, Piestani. Mm -hmm. So this place was uh, actually, uh, there were many Arabs and uh, mm -hmm and many people from Arab descendant, but they're Slovaks. In some ways, uh, I've been much closer to the Arab culture because a lot of my friends were like uh, from either Bahrain or somewhere like this. So it, it, I understand the humor and, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, it's like things you get along with and things like this. And I've been to Bratislava. Bratislava is, is a good city, like pretty huge. Mm -hmm. um, and it's way easier to connect to Vienna and yeah. and um, the other places. So it's like there's much more uh, international students and, and Kosice is not bad too. Like uh, Kosice has got really good numbers growing as well. And Banska Bistrička, the nature is just amazing. Uh, like you have so much nature and so much uh, of posit positivity. The vibe there mm -hmm. is just like so beautiful, like, you know. So Poprad is is also very beautiful. The mountains, the hills, and and it's it's more of this. Uh, you you're automatically motivated to go skiing or like hiking or something, because the environment it offers is something like that. Uh, here I I'd hardly get up to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it depends on the place. So you know there's so much diversity. I like Kosice and so many other things, but when it comes to things like uh, hiking and mm -hmm. and skiing and like that it's it's just amazing you said also you were a dj so uh like what's that like being a dj in koshitsa so it was it was really fun 
because like uh, it it all started with an aux cable <laughs> with a with a what with an aux cable oh, sorry what is, what is that uh, it's like um, an aux cable like well, what do you connect oh, this to oh, yeah. oh i was pi- i was picturing like the animal <laughs> ox i was like what does that have to do okay got it got it got so it so basically uh, we used to just play random songs and yeah. people used to like my collection of songs mhm and then i went back uh, home like uh, my city bangalore and my friend is like a national dj there like he's played in many uh, vh1 and sunburn so he had uh, like even tomorrowland dj's coming to play in bangalore and stuff mm-hmm. he was the one who taught me the whole djing thing yes uh, so he was teaching me for one month i picked it up i came here i practiced for another month and then i pulled my first party in piano <laughs> <laughs> piano and, club yes yeah and it was for free well I, so, I asked before we the interview there was one important question I asked you about that like yeah. you don't have a DJ name man like how come you don't got a DJ name um, I mean I have never found the necessity like why do people make DJ names because they want to look unique or something like this but I'm the only Indian guy who's doing it like you know? <laughs> <laughs> so DJ Indian guy of course she said Oh yeah said. so that's how they that's how they know me like really? even in Erasmus oh you're that Indian guy who plays uh, who who DJs right I was like oh yeah that, oh, that's, that's me yeah Ah uh, huh. so, uh, I I don't know what, what to say about that But it's been an advantage like you know in a very in a very unique way cuz it, it it's like I stand out you know from yes. from the rest uh, that's been good So you don't have like any DJ names like DJ Sweet DJ no. <laughs> DJ Beard or No, I mean actually uh No, I mean <laughs> Well, to be fair, who would want to be DJ Beard? I'm that's a terrible DJ name. <laughs> And the beard doesn't suit you when you, when you actually DJ. <laughs> Uh, I pictured a guy with like a like a old man 20 foot to beard and it's getting in the way of them and he got beard and hair everywhere uh, scratching with his beard <laughs> yeah, scratching with his beard DJ beard yeah the uh, nightlife and stuff in Koshitsa uh being a DJ and also how is that overall like for cuz that's important to a lot of students is the what happens after 10 p.m. like how is that in Koshitsa uh so yeah basically uh, uh one thing is that it's not that expensive here mm-hmm. guys so you can like have the party of your night almost be dead by the next day <laughs> this is the place for you <laughs> <laughs> and yeah the best thing is it's not that expensive even when you're in a pub or something because mm-hmm. like Uh, even the shots inside the pub would not cost you more than like 3 euros per shot mm. i think which is really an a good thing uh when it comes to music if you're an international student i would rather suggest you to go to international parties or erasmus parties but if you're like into techno and stuff then you can go to boba mm-hmm. jazz retro and uh but like if you really want the quality like the next level quality of music you should go to the festivals uh, there's usually like this uh, big parties once or twice in a semester mm, yeah, yeah yeah or summer parties in like shirava and stuff hmm shirava <laughs> <laughs> ah yeah i think i missed an event there recently <laughs> as a dj well It's not a place to showcase your skills it's just a place to play the music what people want <laughs> mm. because you know like after 10 okay not 10 people enter parties at like 11 12 or 1 maybe yeah depends on the crowd but after that once everyone's drunk they don't really care if you can scratch well <laughs> or mix well it's just that okay i want let me love you just play play let me love you or despacito like okay whatever you want to like. <laughs> mm. you know All right. So <laughs> well, thanks. I guess I think the clubs all around Koshitsa are now going to thank you cuz you just gave them a bunch of free advertising. Yeah. But so now so we talked about the nightlife. So let's talk about you, what you do on a day-to-day basis cuz you are a student here. So uh so what's it like studying here? Uh 
because uh, I believe what mechanical engineering. So what's it like to do that here in Košice? Um, well, basically it's like three or four days of school in a week. It's like from 7.30 in the morning to like one o'clock or mm -hmm. maybe even 11 some days. Uh, it's very less classes, uh, which is really, really good because, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if it's like seven days and you're just four days of school and four days of three or four hours each, it's like really less uh, classes, mm -hmm. you know, and it's a very good advantage for, for me, especially because I'm this person who likes to try new things and, and you know, do other stuff as well. So the best part about studying in Kosice is that you have a lot of time on your hands. And since these uh, classes are in the morning, mm -hmm. like early morning, like 7.30 to 11. So it's not even like the beginning of the day you, you finish your classes. And then you have like the whole day to do whatever you want to do. Mm. Uh, what are some of like the most challenging subjects uh, you think like that took the most amount of time? Oh, well, for me, it's been statics and yeah, that's it. Well, I, cause I mean, I, I do medicine side. I know like, what's it like, do you have to do just like a truckload of math problems or? Oh, well, it's like math, physics and, hmm. and you know, uh, it's like a little different from the way we learn it mm -hmm. uh, in India. So it's like a different. Uh, it's like a step-by-step -step procedure, but yeah. a different step-by-step -step procedure. Ah, okay. So it leads to the same answers, but then you got to learn the other way as well. Yeah, so, yeah, no, yeah. I, I say that a lot of, I mean, I, I'm not anywhere as advanced as math as you, but I mean, I remember just even doing calculus or even algebra or trigonometry, they'd be like, you learn it one way, but they're like, no, you need to learn this whole different system that gets you to the yeah. same spot. So yeah. that one, I, okay, I can respect that. So uh, last major question I want to ask is, why should somebody come and study here in Slovakia? I think uh, if they're studying bachelors, uh, it's just three years here, mm -hmm. which would save them a year. Oh, and for the engineering, yes, yes. Yeah. And that uh, one year is a lot of time. <laughs> yes, I agree. Since this is like a new upcoming place, you have a lot of opportunities here, um, which you wouldn't like actually find in most of the already diverse places. You know? Like what, what, uh, cause you mentioned earlier, like what do you feel are some of the opportunities? Like I know you're doing Erasmus and other things, like what uh, yeah. are some examples of opportunities? Like for example, DJing. Yes. Um, there's not much competition here. Yeah. Just like, I, I mean, that this is how I pulled my first party. I went to piano, I spoke to the guy. I was like, I want to pull a party. He was like, two days later, mm -hmm. let's do it. And well, then okay. I called all my friends and it was one, three <laughs> people party. Mm -hmm. So this is how simple it is. Like. As long as you can learn your skills and there's no much competition and you can always uh, aim for whatever you want to do and just do it, like, you know. Like just imagine if I was in like maybe Paris or Budapest, no not Budapest, like Paris or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I would have taken like one or two months to get through the competition and, the, and then be what I am. But here you don't have that sense of competition so it's quite easier. So big fish in a small pond. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You could say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, uh, so, oh, so, so, okay. So this is your final year of school then, or you said you've been here for two years. So this is your final year of school? Uh, yep. All right. So, uh, any potential plans after you finish? Oh, uh, well, <clears throat> uh, basically it's always been my thing to like, have my own startup mm -hmm. uh, or a company of my own. So uh, let's see. Okay. I just um, maybe I'll have a global business degree and then I'll I'll start my thing like soon enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, hopefully this will be the great springboard to the next phase of your life. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Uh, if you like our videos, please make sure to subscribe. And also, if you're interested in studying Slovakia, please check out uh, the website studyinslovakia.sk if you need any help with studying in this great country. So, my name is Peter, and you guys take care.